Hi YouTube, here's my 2002 Pneumatic Henry HVR200. Um, I got this off eBay quite a few weeks ago. Um, so, I mean I have had it a little while, I haven't just got it. But I've cleaned it all up and it runs very well. I'm really pleased with it, so I think I'll be hanging on to this one. Because many of these style Henrys I've sold in the past, but... Anyway, I think I've had like nearly every year of this style of Henry. I've had a 99, I've had a 2000, I've had a 2001 and of course 2002. Yeah, so I've had every year of this variation of Henry which is rather bizarre. Um, but anyway, here it is. So I'll give you an overview. So starting from the um, floor head, it's got the, um, what at the time would have been the new styled floor head um, which would have had the twin pedals and the short neck on the nozzle there. Um, they've introduced this uh, style of floor tool in about mid 2001 um, so of course this Henry would have come with it as standard and this head did come with it when I bought it so you know and it's got the single lint picker and the suction channel at the front and the um, channels that are supposed to direct the suction across the nozzle doesn't really work very well but you know push one pedal and it retracts well it brings the brushes down for hard floors there's also a little gap there you can see where that the little suction inlets are at the front to help pick up larger particles on hard floors when you press the other pedal the bristles are retracted and that's what you use for carpets. I do prefer this style of cleaner head to the one with the longer neck. Um, a lot of people think that the neck is just longer on the later floor tools of this style but it isn't. The floor tool is completely different design. You see how these pedals are sort of staggered along the, the one with the longer neck, they're sort of in line with each other really weird and it doesn't have this sort of raised flat edge on top either like this one does. But anyway, that's this floor tool. Uh, you can probably tell I'll read too much up on things. But anyway, um, it's got the two long aluminium tubes and the um, curved end with the suction release, the older style valve. And of course it has the short hose cuff. And it has a 2.4 metre hose. So coming to the machine, here it is, it has the white outline lettering of course, they introduced that in 99 and of course the transfer face plastic bumper it's got the black wheels with the stabiliser which they introduced that in about 95 so that wasn't new so it's just got the single uh, rocker switch at the back and the little blanking piece there for the um, well where the power nozzle socket would have been of course you've got the two side exhausts which I prefer those I think they look better than just the big central one at the back got a moulded plug a very um, common square plug that they use on Henry's and for some reason in about 2000 they lengthened the cord from 8 metres which they always used 8 metres of cord they lengthened it to something like 12 metres which is just ridiculously long um, Henry's now use 10 metres but there was a point in the early 2000s where they used really long cords so this is a 12 metre cord and you can see just keep pulling, it goes on forever. And there we go, but as you can see, it's a very long card. I did measure that, it's, it is 12 metres. So I've had a couple of Henry's with uh, long cards like that, my 2003 one had that as well. Any of you might notice that the older card rewinds don't sound the same as the new ones. 
depends how much attention to detail you pay. Anyway, that's the card. And, of course, a little white dot there to show you where the switch is. Handle, of course it doesn't lock. It didn't do at this time. And the rating sticker, a bit dusty. So as you can see, it says 230 volts, 50 to 60 hertz, 1100 watts max, 850 watts IEC. Pneumatic International Limited, Chard, England, TA22 GB. HVR 200 and the serial number there 021802929 of course the 0218 means that it was made in the 18th week of 2002 this was also when around the time when they added the barcode they didn't used to have this barcode um, I know they certainly my 99 model didn't have the barcode so at some point in the um, millennium they changed that so anyway that's the under the handle there what else can I show you show you inside again a Henry's a Henry they're all pretty much the same apart from small details of course it has the circular um, motor house in there and it has the um, nylon filter which is nice and easy to shake out if you're one of those people that likes to use it bagless which I'm certainly not um, and it doesn't clog up as easily probably because it lets more dust through it But anyway um, you have the HEPA bag in here if you use them, I mean I use HEPA flows but some people just use the cheap bags and there's no excuse really because you can get like a pack of 10 for 5 99 the cheapest chips of course in here it's just the old bucket design uh, well moulding and of course this being a 2000s model it has that cheap single fan motor that they used around that time but I happen to like that one simply because I think it sounds really weird for um, such a high quality cleaner or even that a Henry to sound like high pitch and whiny but I think that's the only reason I like it really and of course that little whistle noise when you turn it off but anyway, I don't know why I did that. Why did I do that, Alex? I don't know. Anyway, so I'll get it plugged in here because I don't want this video to go on for too long. Some people take all the card out. I probably would if I was using it normally, but since I'm only using it for a couple of minutes, I can't be bothered. There we go. So, if I didn't say this Henry is all original, which is good. So anyway, let's just straighten this hose out. There we go. Right, making sure the camera stays focused. And off we go. It's very quiet. As you can hear, I'm just talking normally.
Doesn't want to spin round. There we go. I always do this because I know people like to see it from different angles when you're using it. Or maybe that's just me. Of course, as I've said in the past, it has that cheap most of sound when you cover the hose. So there you go. And the extension leads just fell off a wall. Never mind. So there we have it. That's my 2002 Pneumatic Henry HVR 200. Um, I'm, I think I'll make a video of the James, uh, the JVH180, and then um, I've got another vacuum on the way, it's a Henry HVC 200, and it was quite a battle on the uh, eBay auction, I can tell you, there's quite a few people after it, so I might have upset the piece, if anyone sees the video that I'm going to make of it, but hopefully we'll be okay, hopefully my house won't get bombed. But who knows. So, anyway, until then, thank you for watching.